Zoe Saldana's convincing turn as the green-skinned alien assassin Gamora made her an immediate fan favorite in the Guardians of the Galaxy franchise, and the adopted daughter of Thanos plays a key role in the massive superhero crossover Avengers Infinity War. It takes a lot of work to transform Saldana from all-American actress to otherworldly badass, and it begins well before she ever sits down in the makeup chair. The Gamora Regimen there's always a certain amount of physical preparation involved for a major role in a Marvel film, but to reprise her role as Gamora in Guardians of the Galaxy Vol. 2, Soldana had to go a little above and beyond. In November 2014, the actress gave birth to twins, and subsequently dropped 70 pounds after embarking on an exercise regimen that would make Drax cry. She had difficulty bouncing back at first, starting off with simply taking walks and eventually working up to a brutal routine of squats, planks, lunges, and pilates, combined with regular cardio. Although she's 80% gluten-free and leans heavily on eggs, vegetables, and greens, she insists she doesn't follow a strict diet. As she put it in a 2015 Facebook post, I am going to remove the word diet from my life. I'm going to remind myself that it is not about losing weight, it is about being healthy, feeling healthy for the rest of my life. Head on. Soldana famously played another colorful alien in 2009's Avatar, but in that case, she got off easy, since her entire character was digitally rendered. So it may have come as a bit of a surprise to Soldana the first time the makeup department working on Guardians of the Galaxy told her that they'd need to make a full cast of her head. The procedure looks pretty grueling, especially if you're claustrophobic. No CGI required. The head cast allows effects artists to exercise great attention to detail when designing Gamora's facial appliances and makeup. This is necessary because, in contrast with her avatar role, there are exactly zero computer-generated elements to Gamora. According to Guardians 2 makeup designer David White, prosthetics made from silicone are sculpted for her cheeks and forehead, the latter of which gives her a new brow line. The pieces take 2 to 3 hours to apply and about 30 to 45 minutes to remove. Her prosthetic forehead actually has a scalp piece that runs underneath her wig. That's right, she also has to wear a wig, so that even the edge of her hairline and her part line are green. Of course, the prosthetics are only the beginning. 5-Hour Job As with any paint job, Soldana gets multiple complete coats of primer before makeup artists get down to the business of greening her up completely. A green base comes after the primer, followed by three more layers which are airbrushed on. This is done to get as close as possible to a natural tone. It all meant a grueling 5 hours in the makeup chair for the first Guardians film, but only 4 hours for the follow-up. We shaved off an hour from the first movie, so I appreciated that. Label Check Surprisingly, virtually all of the brands used to turn Soldana into Gamora are mainstream, commercially available products. White and his team seem to be particularly fond of MAC, a popular brand that's used for both the initial layer of primer and for the green base that's applied before the airbrushing begins. Products from Skin Illustrator and Aqua are used for the airbrush job, and her eyeshadow is a careful blend of several MAC products. Her nail polish is from Simple Colors, and her green lipstick is from high-end brand Cryolan. Not easy being green. Of course, it took a great deal of time and consideration to arrive at the right shade of green for a character that would also be spending a lot of time in front of green and blue screens. White and his team needed tons of tests to nail down the right tone, and then they were tasked with using the array of products to faithfully recreate that exact tone day after day for the duration of the shoot, one he describes as multi-layered, with at least three complementary tones running through it, in addition to Soldana's natural skin tone. If it all seems like a lot of trouble, well, it is, but if Marvel Studios wants us to believe that a raccoon can talk, then it's certainly not about to cut corners to convince us that a stunning alien assassin can be green. Thanks for watching. Click the looper icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.